keyword research in Google Ads for your e-commerce store. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it so you can target the right keywords with your ads. Let's go. Hey guys, Sam Baldwin here from keycommerce.com and today I'm going to show you exactly how to do keyword research for your e-commerce store in Google Ads so you can target people and I'm gonna show you how to do this for free. No frills, exactly how I do it. If you want to go deeper with your keyword research, I'll also talk about an advanced tool that I use for all my accounts. Okay, so keyword research is so important. It's something that you really need to do before you start creating any ads at all in your account. Doing this first, make sure that we're targeting keywords and search traffic that people are actually using in Google and we can then make our ads incredibly relevant towards these search terms. It's super easy, so let's jump into my computer and do some keyword research. Let's go. Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. Now we're in my computer and I'm going to show you how to do the keyword research three different ways. Let's go. Okay, cool. So we have here Keyword Planner. This is Google's tool that allows you to get some great ideas for research for your search ads. Okay guys, so to find this, Wherever you are in the Google Ads dashboard, go to Tools and Settings, Keyword Planner, click that and you'll get to this page here. We're then going to go to Discover New Keywords and we're going to start typing in a few different keywords that give us an idea of what we're looking for. You can also start with a website. If your website, you've got some great content on there already, you can put that in and it's going to go and find that for you. So, you know, I'm going to put in here, I'm looking for gardening tools and then tab to, to add that keyword in, gardening plants, seeds, uh, pruning, uh, maybe that's not a good one. Like uh, I'm looking here for different sort of keywords around the topic for product searches generally. Okay, so I'm gonna select English is fine, Australia is fine. Let's get some results and it's gonna then go and do some research basically and figure out some different keywords around here. So, hmm, okay, so these are the ones that we actually provided, Card gardening tools, gardening, plants, and this is the search volume. So gardening, that's got a lot because of course, it's quite a broad term, this is quite broad, but we can see here, okay, these these aren't as good. These are more direct keywords. Let's, let's look at this, let's move this over here. So it takes a bit of time just to keep working and finding what could work. Here we go, this is much better. So these are more people looking for specific um, search queries here. So gardening tools, yep, that's fine. You know, and tells you a bit about the, the bid that you can expect, but I wouldn't trust this too much just because your bid is going to differ based on your actual, you know, your quality score, your website, uh, the market who's bidding on these keywords. And so, you know, part of it, yeah, Google has that information, but until you actually run the ads, it's really hard to know. So I, I prefer putting in some sort of bid at the start, like 50 cents to a dollar, maybe $2, depending on what product you're selling, but then actually optimizing those bids based on the profitability. And I make other videos on how to do that on my channel. Um, anyway, so we've got all these gardening tools and then it's broken out all these different gardening tools here. Now, what you could do then is use this and, and like uh, sort it by average monthly searches. And you're just getting some ideas because your first campaigns, you're really just trying to get them set up so they start collecting data. They might get some conversions initially, that's great. Um, and you wanna uh, target these keywords, but until you actually get those, those ads in front of real people, you won't know for sure what's actually going to convert. So anyway, I would go through here and um, there's a little thing here where you can actually add these to the side and plan it out. But uh, what I like to do is go through and make get a Google Sheet um, and then make, make a list of all these keywords there. And then I would go um, get that list, get it all ready. Um, and I would also do these other, these other um, ways I'm gonna show you in a second, but get, get that list there and then start building out the ad copy for those ads, for those ad groups. I've got another video where I'm gonna go through how to build out the ad copy and the ad groups. Uh, but here is what we want to do to start getting that, that sort of search keywords for our Google Ads campaigns. So that's just one example. Let's try it out for an actual store. So let's add in, this is like an Australian store here. I haven't tried this out yet, like for this store. So let's try it out, use the entire site. Let's do it. It's going to go crawl that site and give us some keyword ideas. You can put in your own one in there. Very awesome, great stuff. So this is all there. Australian made garden tools, all garden tools. Garden, garden hoe tool, this is fantastic. Yeah, this is exactly what, what we want and we can get that information. You know, you might even, you know, a garden tool, maybe that's a brand term, I'm not sure, maybe that's just what they're recommending. Best garden tool. These these generally, like garden cutter, people are searching for that sort of stuff. 
But to get even more buying intent from your campaigns, you can put in keywords like buy garden cutter, buy garden digging tools, just to get more of a buying intent of someone who's actually looking to buy this online. Anyway, so you want to build out that list, get it all into a Google sheet, and then you'll start planning out your actual ad copy. The next thing you want to do is go into, if you're running campaigns already, this is another, the second way to get great keywords. This is what I really recommend after you've run your campaigns for a while, is going into your campaigns and then going down to uh, the keyword section and go to search terms. Okay, cool. So what this tells you is basically what people are actually searching before they convert uh, and they, before they actually click your ads. So we can actually look here and say like the number of impressions, the number of conversions um, and see, you know, some of these are actually our exact match. So we've actually added keywords already, but this one here is pulling up phrase match. So we don't actually have that as exact match yet. Um, and broad match, travel sim, you know, these ones here, they could be added as an exact match if they haven't been added already. And we're seeing, okay, these ones are actually converting. And this, there's a lot of data here because this is like quite a big account. Um, so there's a lot of data here coming through. But for whatever your campaigns are, go to the search terms report and have a look at what's actually converting. What's generating, you know, maybe there's some keywords, here, like some search queries here you haven't added, but because you have phrase match or broad match keywords in your account, it's showing you that people are really searching for these other terms that you haven't added in yet, but people are searching for them. So that's another way to do keyword research and to branch out your campaigns into other areas. So that's the second thing to do. Uh, the third thing to do, which is like shortcuts a lot of what I've just done here, and that's to actually look at your competitors and do some research with a with a tool like SEMrush. I'll leave a link in the description to SEMrush. Um, you can go check that out. Like it's an affiliate link, but like I recommend it because that's what we use for all the clients, all our own stores. You know, we use it all the time. It's, you know, I only recommend stuff here that I actually use myself. Um, but yeah, there's a link down there. Go check it out. You can get a free trial and use it for a month, I believe. I think you might have to still put in your credit card, but you can cancel it. You know, that's totally fine. Uh, but here, what you can do is start putting in different search queries. But what I love to do is go to competitors. So this one here, for example, these guys here, they're a big um, competitor in... Uh, Australia for um, gardening tools, home improvement. They're, I think they call it a de depot store. Is that what you guys call them over in the US? I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, this is what we call them at uh, the home improvement store. I think that's what we call them over here. I can't even know. I don't even know myself. But anyway, so what you want to do here is put in their, their, their domain and it's going to tell you what they're actually bidding on. So if you're coming into a new niche with a new brand store, you can come in and make sure you change the country to where they're actually targeting um, because it's going to show the right data. And so we've got, you know, all this search traffic here, you know, it shows you the organic rankings, which is amazing keyword trends over time, um, which is awesome. You see, here, you know, after COVID, everyone started going crazy with home improvement. I remember this store was one of the only ones that was open while everyone else closed down during our lockdown. And, um, you know, they were like, they had a traffic jam in the actual, <laughs> in the whole place. Like it was crazy. Anyway, so yeah, you can get the organic traffic, but we want to go down to advertising research here and see what they're actually bidding on for their paid traffic in Google ads. And you can basically take what they're using. And if they're a big, you know, they're, they're, they're paying a lot for these keywords. There's a good chance that they didn't just set their campaigns up and forgot about them. They're optimizing their campaigns based on what's working. And so you can go in and see based on the actual traffic volume, for example, I've just sorted it by this. Um, it's loading now. Great. So these are all the keywords that they're paying for. And it tells you the estimated volume, the percentage of traffic that it makes up for their total traffic. So the branding keyword makes up the majority of their traffic. That's normal. It's a strong brand. Um, and how much it's costing them in USD. That's great. Um, trends. But the main thing here is just having these in here and seeing what they're actually searching for. Um, so searching uh, their keywords that they're targeting. Sorry. So for example, they're bidding a lawnmower floor lamps, LED strip lights. These are ideas for you and go, oh, okay. And you might see things here that you didn't real, you didn't, you weren't uh, using before. And you can use these as great examples. A lot of their stuff are like people searching for the brand and the keyword. That's what you're going to do. Uh, you're going to be able to do, especially once you build up the brand and people know you, they know what, what your store is about and they want to search for products on your store. And that ha that's really common. That's what happens with the last example as well for many of the, the different campaigns. Um, but yeah, that's something that's absolutely um, amazing. You can also see the ad copy and ad history over here. You know, we use this all the time Just and you'll run this on, don't just use it on one a store competitor, go through other competitors and go through and check out what everyone's doing. Um, and it's, it's great to see it all in one go. Okay. You need to upgrade for that one. So we didn't have that one on our one. Um, but you can go, let me go back. So you should be able to see the ad history, the other one. 
but yeah, so you're going to have to upgrade. We don't have that one right now on this one. We sometimes will upgrade, downgrade when we're, depending on how, how, how much we need this. Um, but yeah, it's a fantastic tool, guys. We use it all the time, seriously. Uh, it's the best one for Google Ads. Um, but yeah, you go in here and you'll be able to see the pages and you know, all this sort of stuff, as well as like all this other analysis that's great, especially if you're doing organic and SEO for your store, which is what I really recommend. I haven't made enough videos on this topic yet because people don't really realize how powerful organic and SEO is for e-commerce because people are just obsessed with traffic because they want to start the store. But that longevity that organic traffic brings is insane. So yeah, anyway, this will tell you like how they've changed ads because these guys have been pretty consistent. But basically, um, you will be able to see here, maybe they stopped running certain ads, uh, certain keywords, um, and, and it's only started recently. So if they're doing something for a long time, you know, okay, that's probably been working for years. So let's, let's uh, target that as well. Anyway, guys, that's it for this, this section here on the different ways that you can do keyword research. I really hope that helped. Thanks so much. Okay, guys, that's how you do keyword research for Google ads for your e-commerce store. If this video was useful for you guys, give it a thumbs up and please leave a comment below if you have any questions at all about doing keyword research for your e-commerce store. If you want to learn more about growing your e-commerce store, please check out my channel and consider subscribing. I make a lot of tutorials just like this one that help you guys grow your Google Ads account, your e-commerce store, your email marketing, every part of your e-commerce store. It's all here on my channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.